Hello everybody, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a bit of an experiment. We're gonna see which zero waste stain remover is the best. So I did a little bit of an experiment like this probably a year ago, maybe more, with Bunch of Farmers. Bunch of Farmers sent me a whole bunch of products, but I wanted to test their stain remover on various different stains to see how well it worked. But today, we're gonna try five different stain removers to see which zero waste option really is the best. So let's take a look at what we have. First, we do have the old trusty Bunch of Farmers. I've used it quite a bit. As you can see, it used to fit the entire length of the box. And just a big shout out to all these brands for gifting me these products to try for this video. It is brands that wanna work with me like that that make this stuff possible. Anyway, the next brand is Isle. They actually also sent me some pair of period underwear to try out. And this is the stain stick that they offer on their website to kind of go with their reusable period products. It looks almost identical to Bunch of Farmers. It's just a little lighter. This one's a Bunch of Farmers. The next one is from Hippie Haven. They wrote, hand wrote on here and hand wrote some more stuff back here. How sweet. This one's really awesome. How cool. They. It looks like it's repurposed upcycled paper. And then this is it. No packaging at all. And this one's like completely white. This one has about no smell. The next brand, it's kind of a big box for just a stain block. So a little critique there. If you guys are new to my channel and new to my brand reviews, I actually love to critique brands um, packaging as well, especially if they're eco brands. This one is also super nice, a handwritten note, but this one too, no plastic, just upcycled paper. This one has a little bit of a scent and it's very natural looking, very rugged looks almost identical to Hippie Haven. What brand is this? This is Eco Girl Shop. And then the last brand, which I have already shredded, like I said, is Concentrated. It's very similar to the Hippie Haven and the Eco Girl. It's white, very scentless. And so this is actually distributed by Concentrated as a laundry soap bar, which you can use as a bar, but I just created the entire thing. I put about a tablespoon into my wash per load. But Sarah, the creator said, you can actually use this as a stain remover. So we're gonna test it in this video. Now, let me explain how this is gonna work. So similar to how I did my last stain remover bar test, we're gonna do the same thing. I have this old white sheet that used to be on our bed. Instead of just throwing this completely away, I thought I'd get some more use out of it. I also still use it as like film, film, photo backdrops and stuff. But anyway, we're gonna lay this out and I'm gonna go get some things to stain this. <laughs> Maybe five items because it is a lot of work to use these more natural stain remover bars. I'll explain more about how they work later. So I don't wanna work too hard. I don't know, we'll see. It, it might be really fun trying to do these different stains, but I'm gonna go for now, pick out five things in my kitchen, but let's go see what I can find. everything that I'm going to use for this preliminary round. I might do more later, we'll see. I'm going to put an equal amount on the bed sheet for each stain, let it sit in just slightly because you don't want it to sit in too much because then even like bleach wouldn't get it out. Um, just enough that we're not gonna like get mustard all over the stain stick, but not too much. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put the stain stick on each stain and then we're gonna wash it. We're gonna throw it in the wash as if I was washing it like normal and then I'm going to hang dry it. And then I'll check back in, I guess tonight, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. So here's a quick tutorial on how to use a stain stick. First, grab your stain stick. Then you're gonna want a cup of water, a bowl of water, the tap running it, doesn't really matter where you're getting your water source, but you just take the end, dip it in the water to get it a little bit wet, and then you rub it on your stain now that this is wet. It might also be a good idea to like put just a dab of water on the stain as well, but I do know that you can't just put it on the stain dry. You have to get it wet beforehand. Those middle three stains are not yet dry slash they're way too big. Not saying that you can't get out a big stain with these, but that is just gonna take so much elbow grease that I don't have the energy for right now. So what I think I'm gonna do, so we already did the two, we did the dirt and the cocoa powder. I'm gonna go ahead and quick, just draw on the sheet with this marker and we'll see how good marker does. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and wash it and see how good it does. If I need to do another round tomorrow or later this week, I'll do another round. But for now, we're just gonna go with this. We're 
we're gonna throw it in the washer and just to be clear this is normally my laundry detergent it's probably my favorite one to use right now but for the sake of this experiment i'm going to be using soap nuts just because soap nuts isn't naturally a stain remover so i don't want that to affect this res the results at all um, i do also use true earth sometimes but true earth might mess with the stains as well so i'm just gonna stick with soap nuts um, just to keep it neutral but again still use a little bit of soap mm, maybe i just shouldn't use soap at all i think we'll do that i think i'm just gonna throw it in the washer as is and then we'll see what it looks like in a few hours so stay tuned it'll only be like two seconds for you i have this cup of water now that i use to dunk all my stain sticks into don't throw this out i'm gonna dump this into my washing machine because why not there's extra stain remover booster in this water The sheet is done and I'm very excited. I'll, I'll get a close up because I don't know how, how good can you see it from over there? Oh, no, you can see it. First off, this sheet is disgusting. Like I was saying, like from sweating and just body dander and stuff. <laughs> and we could never get it clean, which is why we just got new sheets. But like, look, at, you can see the original color. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? Okay. So up here is where we had the markers. All of them are gone. Right here, this was the cocoa powder. Again, all of it gone. And I'm really surprised, honestly, because the way it looked, it looked so like muddy. I thought it was gonna just be brown. I thought it just spread the brown color, but like it's completely gone. Wow, I mean, I guess the marker washed off anyway because I wrote on it with purple marker, but the foundation is still there. This was clearly the oil row. You can see how oily that looks. There's the mustard row. And then right here, which you can see the outline a little bit, was the, um, what was this? Dirt, this was the dirt row. All the dirt is gone. That's awesome. So now I know my sheets actually can be cleaned with these stain remover bars. Like, ooh, look how gross it is looking. So I think I'm gonna leave these mustard stains to dry completely. The sheet is still kind of damp from the washer. I'm gonna leave these mustard stains to dry and then I'm gonna try to get these mustard stains out with the stain remover bars to see if it works on already set stains. As well as we have the mustard, which is like an already attempted to be washed out stain. So I don't have high hopes for it, but I'm gonna go ahead and stain this with something else tonight. Let that stain sit for about 24 hours. And then before washing it, try the stain rivers. Then we'll have two different experiments. We'll have fresh stains, we'll have a already washed set stain, and then we'll have a pre-washed set stain. And then tomorrow I'll probably go in with another thing just for fun. This is so much fun. I like doing experiments like this. So what should I do? I think I'm thinking sriracha because sriracha is kind of oily and it's such a bright color. So I'm gonna put like a little dab. I'll just do a small amount this time. I went way overboard last time. Just a small dab and let it sit until tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello everyone. So I'm back. The sheet is completely dry. The sriracha is completely dry. Time to try to get out the mustard stain from the pre-wash, the post-wash, and then the sriracha stain from the pre-wash, and then we'll wash it again. So let's just get to removing stains. So I'm back with the sheet and I am so impressed, so impressed. I also just wanna apologize for a bunch of farmers for not doing their stain stick justice in that first video. Now that I know how to properly use it, this is amazing, okay? I'll show you some clips in just a second. It got the, so the mustard had been washed and then dried and it still got the mustard stain out. And then and the sriracha stain had been here for 24 hours and it still got that stain out. I'm, I'm so impressed. Before I wrap this up, I wanna talk about 
each of these stain sticks individually, a little bit about the brands, a little bit about what they're made out of and so forth, and then kind of rate them, at least on a sustainability standpoint, because honestly, they all worked equally. I don't think one worked better than the other. Um, this was a fault on my part. The concentrated bar would work so much better still as a bar. It still works after it's shredded, which I was super impressed with. If you're interested in the concentrated bar as a laundry detergent, you can still use it after it's shredded, but if you're only interested in that concentrated bar as a stain stick, don't shred it because it worked really well on a variety of stains. So I think that's really good to know that it worked. And even then it kind of got a little bit of the oil. So it worked on oil stain, it worked on marker, it worked on sriracha, cocoa powder, and dirt. And I'm sure it would work on anything else too, like grape juice, ketchup, grass, like if it got day old washed and dried mustard stain out, I think it could get anything out. Something else too, all of these brands will be linked down below if you like to shop any of these brands for yourself. The Bunch of Farmers Stain Stick, which is now like half gone, it's $4.34 with just the bar. And if you get this little box, it's $4.44. So you save 10 cents and you can avoid this waste entirely. So that's pretty cool. They didn't have that option when I first ordered. Okay, so the Bunch of Farmers, bar is made out of biodegradable saponified oils of coconut canola and vegetable as well as let's say a cubeba essential oil i think that's the key stain fighting essential oil because that has that's in a lot of the other ones as well it is also enhanced with borax to soften the water and aid in the cleaning process and that is all the ingredients that comes with the bunch of farmers bar okay wow this is like literally the same formula that's what i'm saying i think they're all pretty much the same ingredients one person figured it out figured out that it works really well, and then just everyone decided to do the same thing. This one is $5, so it's only about, what is that, 78 cents more? 68 cents more. It's only 68 cents more for this one. So the perk of this one is if you're already ordering from them, like for their period underwear, you can just throw this on the, on your order. So the next one is Hippie Haven. This one is only $4.99, so literally one cent cheaper than Isle, and only like 40, 50 cents more than Bunch of Farmers. Big perk to this one though is it comes packageless, and I'm pretty confident that both both Isle and Bunch of Farmers also had no plastic in the packaging and Concentrated is also no plastic in the packaging. So all of these are really great brands to order from. So this one is coconut oil, water, sodium hydroxide, baking soda, and that's it. That's super interesting. This one doesn't have the Litsia Burboba or whatever it's called, which I thought was like the key stain fighting ingredient, but I guess the sodium hydroxide and the baking soda. Okay, and this brand really has in-depth details on their website on how to use which I think is kind of why I was so confused on how to use this in the first place, because the directions, while they're very clear, they're also vague. Like it was just like wet bar, rub on clothes, wash. Same with aisle, like very minimal detail for the washing instructions, which is fine. This definitely has a lot. The Hippie Haven has really in-depth instructions. Ooh, this one's the most expensive at $5.99 from Eco Girl Shop. So this one so far is a dollar more than these two and like a dollar 60 more than Bunch of Farmers. So Bunch of Farmers is like by far the cheapest. And this one seems to be the most expensive, but honestly, concentrated might be more expensive as well. We'll, we'll get there in a sec. And then the Eco Girl one is made of coconut oil, water, sodium hydroxide, and baking soda. Okay, that explains why these two look so similar. And so it must be that, that essential oil that gives them color, because if we look at these, like, look at how similar these two look, and they're the same formula, and they're kind of darker, yellowish, tan-ish. And then these two are completely white and also look almost identical because they are the same formula. How interesting, I'm learning so much about soap today. And of course, the great news with all of these is they are all vegan as well as palm oil free. So like so many wins all around for all of these brands. Something to note about the concentrated bar, about how big this bar is. So this bar does cost six pounds, which is 8.29 USD. So it might sound like an outrageous price. Mm, I can't find how much this weighs, but I'm it's easily double. So you're getting twice the amount for not even twice the price. So that's pretty cool. The website only says coconut oil, which I don't believe this is just coconut oil. There's no way. I imagine due to the color, the formula is probably pretty similar to that of Eco Girl and Hippie Haven. That would be my best guess. These will literally last you forever. They're so awesome. It reduces your weight while shipping. So since you're not paying for the water that's in bleach, bleach is mostly made out of water. It reduces the emissions greatly. Obviously it reduces packaging. These two are completely package free. The aisle one is packaged in cardboard, which can be composted or recycled. They are all great options. I don't have a favorite brand, but I mean, depending on your price range, maybe where you live, some might be made closer to you. Some might be readily available in a store to you, like a zero waste store. So that is all that I have for this video. I hope that you enjoyed 
like coming along with me to do this little science experiment. These videos are so much fun to make. I hope they're enjoyable for you to watch as well. Let me know what other products I should review down below, what other sorts of science experiments I should do. Though something to note, I won't be doing any more experiments or brand reviews like this for a little bit until we get settled in our new home around July. So it's gonna be a little bit till we get back on this like brand review train. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope this inspires you to check out zero waste stain removers. It's definitely not one of the most popular zero waste swaps out there. Like when you think of zero waste swaps, you think of bags and bottles and utensils, but I feel like stain remover is really not one of them. So I hope that this opened your eyes to the world of zero waste swaps. And I hope you check out some of these brands. They'll again be linked down below. And lastly, a huge thank you to all of these brands for gifting me these products to review. It's brands like you guys that are helping me to create this content for more people and make zero waste more accessible and more fun. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've been around a while, make sure to see you're subscribed because YouTube is kind of unsubscribing people. But I post new content every Thursday, Japan Standard Time, which is Wednesday in the US and some Mondays, oh, AKA Sundays in the US. We're gonna see where this content schedule goes when I move. But if you like what you see here, I focus on all sorts of things, zero waste, free, easy, and fun ways to live low waste. And again, I. I appreciate your time. Until next time, remember that these small changes you make have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys. I lost every word in my head. I'm going to even, that's the word even. <coughs> oh, it's still recording. <laughs> I feel like I don't really need to, <coughs> I feel like I don't. <coughs> Until next time, remember that the, just kidding.